The bones and joints form an important part of the skeletal system. However, they would be incomplete without the use of muscles. Muscles are long bundles of contractile tissue that form the basis of all movements and give contour to the body. The three important types of muscles found in the human body are the skeletal muscles or striated muscle, cardiac muscles and the smooth muscles. Let us take a look at the types of muscles found in the human body. The first type of muscles are the skeletal muscles or striated muscles. They enable us to carry out many movements. There are more than 650 skeletal muscles in our body. A skeletal muscle usually has two ends. A fixed end where the muscle originates and a movable end that pulls another part. Skeletal muscles join bones together and are held in place by tendons. Tendons are cords of tough tissue that connect bones to muscles. Skeletal muscles often work in pairs. While one contracts, the other relaxes. For example, the bicep muscle in the upper arm contracts when the lower arm is raised up. At this time, the tricep muscle relaxes. To straighten the arm out again, the triceps muscle contracts while the bicep muscle relaxes. Such muscles that cause opposing movements are known as antagonistic muscles. They are found in the thigh as well. As muscles contract, they become shorter and thicker. The process of contraction is a result of a complex series of events that take place within the muscle cells. Muscles are composed of long thin cells called muscle fibers. They are packed in bundles and run through the entire length of the muscle in the body. Each muscle contains individual contractile units called myofibrils. Myofibrils are cylindrical, multinucleated cells. Myofibrils are composed of smaller units known as sarcomeres. Each sarcomere contains two long fibrous proteins. The thicker filament of protein is known as myosin, while the thinner filament is known as actin. When a muscle receives nerve impulses from the brain, these filaments slide over each other and the muscle contracts. The filaments in the sarcomeres are responsible for the striation of skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles can contract and relax rapidly but are easily fatigued. As skeletal muscles are controlled by the somatic nervous system, they can be consciously controlled. Such muscles are also referred to as voluntary muscles. When you push your shoulder blades together, you are using your trapezius muscle. This is an example of a voluntary muscle. The second important type of muscle is the cardiac muscle also known as the myocardium it is found exclusively in the heart cardiac muscles make up the walls of the heart and are capable of quick and rapid movement unlike skeletal muscles cardiac muscles do not tire easily with every contraction of the cardiac muscles Blood is pumped out of the atria and ventricles into numerous blood vessels. Cardiac muscles are thinner and shorter than skeletal muscles and have a branch-like structure. However, they too contain the proteins actin and myosin, 
which give the cardiac muscles their striated appearance. The cardiac muscle cannot be controlled consciously. So, we refer to it as an involuntary muscle. The third type of muscle in the human body is the smooth muscle or the non-striated muscle. It is found in structures such as the esophagus and organs such as the stomach and the intestines. Smooth muscles perform slow, long-term contractions. For example, peristalsis is a result of contraction of smooth muscles. Unlike skeletal muscles, smooth muscles are not under our control. They are involuntary muscles and non-striated. However, there are some muscles that are both voluntary and involuntary. The eyelids are an example of this type of muscle. Movements in our body are made easier due to the lever action in the skeleton. The lever of the first order is where the power and the weight act with the fulcrum in between. This is represented by the extension of the arm at the elbow by the action of the triceps muscle. The lever of the second order is where the fulcrum and power are at each end with the weight in between. This is represented by the calf or gastrocnemius muscle that raises the weight of the body on the toes. The lever of the third order is where the fulcrum and the weight are at each end with power in between. This is represented by the bicep muscle when flexing the arm. Thus, the various muscles in the human body make movement and locomotion possible.